What I said in the speech is, uh, uh, is I'm, I mean, it's from my heart, it's a privilege uh, to play Moro Pfefferman, and it's a huge responsibility, so, uh, because you want to do it right. Um, and lives are at stake. I know we are in the comedy category, but uh, I do believe with our, our stories and our humor, uh, we are moving the whole question forward. But when I get up uh, in the morning, or indeed when they knock on the dressing room door, I go, you gotta do this right. Uh, I'm a cisgender male, and I've been given one, given one of the biggest responsibilities, but um, I always thought acting was this. I mean, I always thought it was this. And um, I always um, thought there was teaching in the laugh and in humor. Uh, and uh, uh, with the laughter and with real humor, you can kill prejudice and keep it far away. There was a moment um, that I sometimes talk about. It was in um, uh, at Sundance, and uh, 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 some parents came up to me and said, uh, "We really love the show." And I said, oh, thank you, you know. And uh, and they said, "No, we really love the show, and we want to talk to you." And uh, their little son, um, Robert, I don't know the name, uh, was going to uh, uh, play softball, and he came home one day and he said to his mom and dad, "Mommy." Daddy, I don't want to go back there. And they said, why? And he said, I'm not a boy boy. And that changed their lives. And they told me that they watched Transparent, and that gave them a confidence. And that makes me feel good. Uh, but that's, I, I always thought that that's what we're supposed to do. So um, I, I, that one sticks out uh, at me, you know. Uh, because that is, you know, we think, uh, oh, this show would only be um, attractive to, let's say, over New York or L.A. But this, uh, this lands. People start talking to me about their families and, um, and, and, and personal stuff. And uh, so it's, it's, it's um, important to me. Well, uh, it felt, uh, Jimmy Kimmel did this uh, piece of business uh, about eating the ballot or whatever. And I thought, well... I wonder if there's um, emergency services here. Uh, uh, it, was, it was quite a moment, but uh, it was great. And I, uh, you know, I have to tell you, I, I'm not shy and bashful about holding this up because this is bigger than me, and it represents what Amazon has done and what the uh, transgender community is doing and what, uh, what our show is about. So, and we are the little engine that could, so I hope more people watch it and get to experience this um, this revolution. You know, I, I don't know why I thought of this, and I hope it doesn't sound glib, but you know, uh, W.H. Auden said, love one another or die. And that's it, you know? And connect, this is all about connection. And so uh, how important it is it? It's everything. Um, and um, I can't, uh, but I think it's moving forward. Um, are we all the way there? Uh, no. And. Um, but what's wonderful about streaming, especially, and I don't mean to say, my, you know, I, I'm not, not, you know, not, not network, but the real transformative stories are starting to be told. And I think that's going to change things. Uh, and both young and old are, seem to be responding. Well, I had great, I had great, cons I mean, first of all, I, uh, you know, there's a wonderful adage in acting, you're stuck with the character, but the character is stuck with you. And um, I thought, I thought, you know, I get a lot of questions about the externals, you know, uh, about the hair, the makeup, the thing like that. And that was not even a bit daunting to me. I actually liked it. What was a bit daunting is the inner journey that I had to allow myself. And I, uh, it's glib for me to say, well, I had to explore the female side, because that's not true. But I had to explore more of Jeffrey than I ever, ever had to. And I think that's really important. important. And I really like Laura Pfefferman. I believe in her. And I think those roles don't happen where you go, oh, I know who that is. I like her, so she was sort of, you know, she's a good friend, she teaches me. And I love the fact that she doesn't quite know how to walk, you know, in heels yet. And I love the fact that she doesn't know how to make up and, and still does, doesn't really have a friend in the community, is just starting to go to the LGBTQ meetings and things like that. So she's a 71-year-old teenager, and I love that.